more stuff. What are you digging a hole to China? <laughs> this is me, Kels, and here's my handsome husband, Jay. For the past year, we've been traveling the country in our schoolie with our adorable daughter, Pippa. Come along for the ride as we try to figure out this crazy journey of living and traveling in a school bus. Last time we enjoyed an eventful week exploring White Sands National Park. This place is unreal. And the stunning Carlsbad Caverns National Park, where we may have had a little bit too much fun finding shapes in the calcium sulfate formations. This one looks like an upside down bull sack. We headed towards a remote part of New Mexico for the night and woke up in the morning ready to continue our journey east. With a quick stop from the rock in the ground. That thing really did come out of nowhere. Take me on a treasure hunt, make it sick. I'll scare me twice, pull out every trick, ruffle my feathers. Late, late nights the There's really nothing like driving late into the night to wake up surprised by the stunning view that awaits you in the morning. It really doesn't ever get old. to Austin, Texas, and there's one spot there that I've actually been to that I'm excited to show you guys, and we'll talk more about it when we get there. Established in 2011, Style Switch Barbecue and Brew offers a nostalgic feel with high quality Texas barbecue and craft beer. The moment we've all been waiting for, you can literally see the juice. In fact, it now holds the record for best brisket us and Alex have ever had. This is the day where I have to declare this has the best brisket in the world that I ever tried. In the world! <laughs> it's so good. I like don't want to eat more because I want leftovers, but incredible. <sighs> that was so good. Mion <laughs> bien. What are you speaking? Bien. 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 <laughs> you just had like a spasm. Oh, that was so good. Our bellies are full and we are tired. So we are going to now find somewhere to sleep for the night. Probably. I think, I think tonight's option is Walmart. Good old Walmart. See you guys there. This is what happens when you get brisket. Alex just came back with his huge Smallest thing. Part <laughs> and now we're obsessed with brisket and gonna try to make it. That's the smallest <laughs> one they had. How much do you think for this insane. one? That is insane. Like 30 bucks. 24. Wow. 24? 24. That is a steal. If you could fit it just right there. Now half of your fridge is brisket. Looks great. It fits perfect next to the milk. So it's quite a humid, rainy day. The first one that we've had for a long I time. Rain felt like. Yeah. We're definitely making our way more and more east. And we have someone that we actually are trying to catch up with sounds so creepy but we have their location services we share it with each other so we can see where they are and we are going to try to catch up with them without them knowing and surprise them so we're just wrapping up our stay here at this County Park, I think you call it. It was free, got to fill up with water, and once we're packed up, we're heading to meet some friends. Some stuff. Oh no. Oh. Wait, more stuff. Help. <laughs> Literally last night I go, 
Oh, we've never been stuck because we were watching Tio Aventura and they got stuck. Oh, we're stuck. And we're stuck now. We're stuck in the mud. Because that's what happens when you say stuff like that. Should have known better. Alex is coming back to save the day once again. Oh my god. So much for Bessie's bath. What are you, digging a hole to China? It rained a lot last <laughs> night. Hopefully Alex has chains. Yeah. I'm sorry. And here he comes to say that We should start a book for how many times Alex saves a day. Yeah. After being saved once again by Alex, we started making our way to meet up with our good friends, Jill and Joe, whom we also met while on the road. When you travel with other people, you create this unexplainable bond with them. One that makes a few weeks away from them feel like years away from them. But when you come together, you go back right to where you left off and it feels like nothing has changed. Yeah! 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 Oh my God. I didn't even wait, I read So that was incredible. Um, I think that's the beauty about like always traveling and living in a bus or a van or whatever. Wherever you pull up, like you don't know where it's gonna be. You don't know what's gonna be on your doorstep. It might be like a, a shoddy little Walmart or it might be on a harbor like that. Nice time for some food. And tomorrow is a little bit of a special day. Nah. Nah. <laughs> Presents are all ready to go for tomorrow. And if you're wondering how on earth you surprise your significant other when you live in 200 square feet, whatever this is, this is our solution. I put a curtain up and I said, Kelsey, don't go past the curtain. No peeking. It's not even see-through. It's you. Yes. <laughs> so that's how you do it when you live in a school bus. Yeah. 
Nothing like a meat party for your 27th birthday, am I right? <laughs> a different kind of meat party. It's become almost a nightly ritual to eat dinner together while playing cards. Although, I swear we might go vegetarian after all the meat we had this week. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you play cards. Wow. Morning birthday girl. Morning. Thank you. Happy birthday. Thank you. Morning Papa. Papa. Really cute. Morning Papa. Morning Papa. Get me all this. So, for anyone that doesn't know, Kelsey has a mighty obsession with water bottles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, of course, I had to include one of those. Wow, how did you know I needed nail polish or anything? I just figure things out sometimes. <laughs> For Pippa, tell you. If you told me just a few years ago I'd be spending my 27th birthday in a converted school bus, I would have probably thought you were joking and laughed in your face. Once I came to the realization that you were being serious, I would have been terrified, wondering where I went wrong in life. I guess I just always thought by the time I was 27, I'd have some big time corporate job in New York City and live in a huge house with way more rooms than I'd ever use. You see, I grew up convinced that being rich was the key to true happiness and success. And while I'm sure that might make some people feel happy, I've realized there's no direct correlation for me. And it's actually quite silly because my parents never raised me to think this way. We weren't ever rich, but we also weren't ever unhappy. I think this image of success all stems from society's ideologies, and that's what can create such unhappiness in our worlds. We think we need to show off that we have the newest iPhone or buy a brand new car in hopes it'll impress that person you knew in high school who doesn't even realize they still follow you on Instagram. But the truth is, the more we rely on money and things no to control our happiness, the more out of control our own happiness becomes. When you remove yourself from that world and no longer need the validation from society which so many people thrive on, you realize how true happiness and success is created from within yourself and nothing else. So as I sat here enjoying my 27th birthday with the love of my life and three of my closest friends at a random brewery in a random city, I couldn't help but beam with happiness from ear to ear. It doesn't matter that I had been wearing the same pair of jeans for three days in a row or that I didn't have an unlimited stream of money coming in because I already had everything I needed to be happy right there. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Kelsey. Happy birthday to you. Wow, thanks guys. Make a wish. Alright guys, so I just had the best birthday with the best people. Couldn't be more grateful and now we're gonna go to bed because I am exhausted. Love you all. Happy birthday. Thanks baby. Good night. Looking good, baby. Thank you. That Houston, Texas weather is <laughs> nice. Your afro. You're bullying me. <laughs> Morning, Pupas. Morning, Pupas. She's sleepy. She stayed up late last night. Want to feel my victory? <laughs> oh, victory. What? <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> No
treasure hunt. Make 